The Israeli war on Gaza has triggered condemnation by many African leaders here, and in a show of support, Palestine's Prime Minister was invited to attend the summit. The United States and some European countries have put some of the settlers on the terror list. This is important. But what is most important is to boycott products made in the settlements by settlers and to impose sanctions on Israel, which is deliberately violating international law and international humanitarian law, and which is committing the cruelest of crimes on the Palestinian people. Away from Palestine, there has been less consensus over a range of issues bedeviling both the organization and the continent. The AU Commission chairman said drastic reform of the body is urgently needed. He urged member states to implement AU decisions and fulfill financial obligations. The level of political fragmentation is alarming, as countries like Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, Gabon, Guinea and Sudan have seen their membership suspended following undemocratic changes of government. How do you explain that? The cracks are even impacting the proceedings here. This morning when I, when I prepared myself to go, to come and attend the closed session of the summit, the Ethiopian security has blocked my way. They refused me to come out of the hotel and go on with my cars and entourage to come to the sea. The backdrop is the recent spat over a memorandum of understanding between Ethiopia and the breakaway region of Somaliland that would give Ethiopia control of a Somali seaport. This and other points of contention are feared to have distracted the summit and weakened its focus on the search for ways to resolve conflicts in several hotspots such as Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo and the Sahel. If it hasn't been a summit of big decisions, it's been a summit for self-reflection. The organization clearly acknowledges its limitations and challenges, but at the same time it feels that it will remain an indispensable tool for unity and well-being for the continent. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.